Good afternoon folks, this is Cloud14 from Twitter Expansion Forums and or Cloud15 if you know me from YouTube. Um, before we get started with Tutorial 18, I just want you guys to know that on Tutorial 14, Part 2 won't be coming out until I find a place where you guys can host your files for free and that the, the URL won't change on your files every time because then it will, it'll make your freaking program useless. See, I can make a program and use my brother's FTP server to upload my files which is something you guys can't so unless you guys have an FTP server then I might just might as well just use that as a tutorial but um let's get started with tutorial 18 tutorial 18 we're going to cover how to use link labels alright so go to your uh, the visual basics as you can see I got 2008 yay I found the file for it. Um, once you have it started, I want you to add a link label to your form, and then on text, change it to click on Cloud 15 to go to my page. All right. Now, resize your form. Uh, however, you know what size you want. And now double click on your form. Oh wait, before you double click on your form, I'm sorry. You uh extend extend this right here and then count how many letters you have before cloud fifteen. So or or whatever link you want to link. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. <clears throat> double click on your form to open up the code editor and type link label one dot links dot add open parentheses open quotation and quotation oh wait, sorry take away those two quotations I'm I'm dumb comma comma open quotation and quotation and parentheses all right the first integer that we're gonna add is the integer how many integers we are away from cloud fifteen and remember we counted it it went it was at nine so basically that's when the link starts uh, when the blue link starts. So then we type 9 and then we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5, I mean 6, I'm sorry, on the next one. This basically tells the program to start the link on C and end it on 5. If you want to test it out, press the green button and as you can see it'll work. It works. So that's cool. But the link does not work. So what you want to do is close the program, go back to the, uh, double click on the um, link, and then type e.link.visited equals true, press enter, enter, and type dim url as string equal to c type open parentheses e dot link dot link data dot oh, I'm sorry comma string and press enter and type pros oops prices uh, type process dot start open parentheses URL and parentheses now start your program up Dun, 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 dun. And now whenever you click your link, of course, I'm going to get an error because I was dumb and I forgot to tell you guys to uh, put the URL <laughs> in between the quotations. So let's do that now. Right here, you're going to go to your, well, whichever site you have opened up, doesn't matter. And then copy that. And then uh, paste the URL right there. There we go. Now try the program again, then click on the link and it should start up your, you know, whatever you, whatever you had copied. And that is a basic tutorial on how to use link labels. Hopefully this has helped some of you guys out there. Uh, thank you for watching, remember to thumbs up and comment if you need anything. Comment or go to actually, go to the forums and ask for questions and stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.